Today, we delve into a pressing issue that affects our planet, electronic waste or e-waste. In this video, we'll discuss the impact of e-waste on the environment and why it's crucial for us to address this growing problem. Electronic devices have become an integral part of our lives. From smartphones to laptops, TVs to gaming consoles, we rely heavily on these gadgets. But what happens when these devices reach the end of their life cycle? Unfortunately, many of these electronic devices end up in landfills or are improperly disposed of, contributing to the ever-growing problem of e-waste. This has serious consequences for our environment. One of the primary concerns is the release of hazardous materials found in electronic devices, such as lead, mercury, cadmium, and brominated flame retardants. When e-waste is dumped in landfills or incinerated, these toxic substances can leach into the soil, contaminating groundwater and polluting nearby ecosystems. Studies have shown that exposure to these toxic substances can have detrimental effects on both human health and wildlife. They can cause respiratory problems, damage the nervous system, and even lead to certain types of cancer. Animals that come into contact with e-waste can suffer from reproductive issues, developmental abnormalities, and reduced lifespans. Recycling is often seen as a solution to mitigate the impact of e-waste. However, it's important to note that not all e-waste is recycled properly. Some recycling practices in developing countries involve unsafe methods, such as burning or dismantling electronics without proper protective measures. To address the e-waste problem effectively, we need a comprehensive approach. It starts with designing electronics with longevity and recyclability in mind. Manufacturers should prioritize using non-toxic materials and make their products easier to disassemble for recycling purposes. Proper e-waste recycling involves the careful extraction of valuable metals and components for reuse while ensuring the safe disposal of hazardous materials. This not only conserves valuable resources, but also reduces the environmental impact associated with mining and manufacturing new electronic devices. As consumers, we also play a crucial role in reducing e-waste. Instead of throwing away old devices, consider donating them or selling them to organizations that refurbish electronics. If recycling is the only option, make sure to use certified e-waste recycling centers that adhere to strict environmental and safety standards. Additionally, some communities organize electronic waste collection events where you can drop off your old devices for proper recycling. Participating in these initiatives helps prevent e-waste from ending up in landfills and ensures that valuable materials are recovered and reused. The benefits of e-waste recycling extend beyond environmental conservation. States such as Punjab are also experiencing rapid growth due to increased industrialization and digitization. In Punjab, cities like Ludhiana, Jalandhar, Amritsar, Patiala and Mahali generate most of the state's e-waste. The Punjab Pollution Control Board, PPCB, estimates that over 15,000 tons of e-waste is generated annually in the state. Unfortunately, much of this waste is recycled by informal recyclers, small scrap shops that burn or dismantle electronic waste without safety precautions. This leads to air and soil pollution, especially in industrial areas. Poor e-waste management poses serious environmental and health problems. Burning wire releases toxic gases and heavy metals such as lead and mercury. Dumping electronic waste in open spaces contaminates soil and groundwater, impacting agriculture and food security. The situation is particularly worrying in Punjab, where agriculture is the backbone of the economy. Informal workers who handle e-waste without protective equipment suffer from respiratory illnesses, skin rashes and neurological disorders. To control this growing threat, the Indian government introduced the e-waste management rules in 2011, which were updated in 2016 and 2022. These regulations are based on the idea of Extended Producer Responsibility, EPR. This means that manufacturers must take back, collect and recycle the products they produce. In Punjab, the PPCB has licensed waste collection centers and recyclers in cities such as Ludhiana and Mahali. Schools and universities also organize awareness programs to promote safe recycling.
Some companies, such as Dell, HP, and Samsung, offer return programs that encourage customers to return their old gadgets. Government action alone is not enough. Citizens also need to act responsibly. We can all work together by following three principles, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce purchases of unnecessary gadgets. Donate or repair electronic devices to reuse them. Please dispose of at an authorized collection center. Universities in Punjab can organize e-waste collections and educate youth on how to safely handle e-waste. A combination of small actions can make a big difference. The e-waste issue is not just a technology issue, but also a sustainability and awareness issue. India and Punjab should focus on strengthening formal recycling systems, training informal workers, and promoting environmentally friendly product design. We need to move to a circular economy where materials are continuously reused rather than wasted.